Well, hello there. So, it's vlog time. Um, so... Right now, I am rendering a video, as you can see, by what I have open right here. So, uh, what was it? Uh, Josh Cha, I think. Yeah, I don't know how you pronounce that. Sorry if I'm, your, I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Josh uh, asked for a video on this 80 line 486 laptop. You got it. It's rendering right now. Right there. So that's rendering. Um, updates on things. DS8000 project. Uh, things in the rack. The enclosure is in the rack. Just to, it's on. Just to test uh, the noise it makes, and so I can get I can get used. To the noise it makes and sleeping with it and all that it doesn't make that that much noise and as you can see I have a lot of cables running uh, up here those go to the as you can see right there is the um, DC 7100 SFF uh, HP computer that is going to be running everything uh, I have decided not to get uh, the 16 drives the 16 300 gigabyte drives instead I'm just gonna get uh, 4 uh, 147 gigabyte drives rip the trays off rip the screws off just trash the drives because those drives if they happen to be just like this one they're gonna be bad so trust the drives or just leave them as spares because they are actually cheaper than the trays alone so I'm gonna buy the drives and I'm actually gonna buy uh, four one terabyte uh, Toshiba drives SATA drives and I'm gonna buy four uh, IBM Interposer cards that actually convert uh, SATA into fiber channel uh, into FCAL that means fiber channel irritated loop so the controllers have uh, multiple paths to access the drives so I'm gonna be able to use SATA drives on this enclosure so I'm gonna put four, uh, four one terabyte uh, SATA drives in there. So that'll give me a total of four terabytes. With RAID Z, it'll be about three point five, or thereabouts, three point five terabytes of storage. Not bad. Um. Well, now that we're talking about that, those will be for my birthday, which is on uh, January 16th. So that's pretty much Christmas presents too. So let's talk about Christmas presents. Well, let's talk about, let first let's talk about something that will go first. Uh, that will go before Christmas. I'll be getting a video card, a new video card, for gaming. Uh, I don't do a lot of gaming, but I do miss gaming. I used to game on a GTX 760. That thing died for some weird reason. It just randomly died on me. So I am getting a 5870, a Radeon HD 5870. I am keeping my Quadro. Because I want it for editing videos and all that, and uh, the the Nvidia drivers, the proprietary Nvidia drivers on GNU Linux, are a lot better on the Nvidia side. So 
I'm getting a 5870. Uh, luckily, my motherboard and my CPUs support VTD, so I'm gonna uh, have both of them installed. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have the Quadro and the 5870 installed. My power supply, which is a uh, what was it? Uh, it's not a super flower. It's um, Seasonic. It's a Seasonic. Um, I don't remember the brand, the well, the exact model, but it is um, an M12 too. It might be. I think. Well, it is an an 80 plus uh, bronze. Power supply. It is modular. I got the modular cable for PCI Express, so that can give en enough use for both of my CPUs, both of my GPUs. No problem there. 520 watts. So I'm getting a 5870 for gaming. And on that note. Christmas presents. What will I be getting? Well, this this guy is going. Right now, I have been using uh, this guy, this 19-inch uh, Philips. Uh, I don't really remember the model, but I've been using this CRT because it is uh, full sRGB. So, you know, for oh, right there. It is a 109E5. It is full sRGB compliant, and I have been using it in conjunction with my Quadro for uh, video editing. But I will be getting one of these. For Christmas. Yeah. How about that? That will be my main monitor, and that one is 99% sRGB, over 99% sRGB. Color accuracy will not be as good as this CRT, that is for sure, but I just cannot, I mean, look at the, look at the space that this thing wastes. Look at the space. I mean, it'll be such a shame because I got this guy as new old stock. Uh, about a year ago for 15 euro. I mean, it was new in box. It is a shame. I'm gonna throw it away. Nobody wants it. And shipping this thing is just a nightmare. So I'm just gonna throw it away. It, it is a shame, really, but look, look at all the space it wastes. I mean, it is as, as deep as my arm. So. I'm gonna have this guy, which is uh, marketed as a gaming monitor. It has a five millisecond uh, response time, uh, gray to gray, and uh, it it really isn't that great for gaming. Uh, all the reviews I've seen uh, don't really state that it is that great for gaming at all. So, uh, I mean, I will use it for gaming. I've been using an LG TV with a TN panel, which is a piece of crap. The color reproduction and the latency and all that is crap on this TV. I've been using this for gaming for quite a while now. So I'll use that for gaming too, but that's just because I have no option. But I'll be getting that thing mainly for multitasking and video editing. Now, I'll still be using this TV, I'll use it in vertical position, in portrait mode, I think you call it, in portrait mode, uh, right here, where the CRT is, and I'll save a lot of space, a lot of space, I will be able to put uh, probably that PowerMac G4 right there that I saw taken apart, I will probably be able to put that PowerMac G4 right behind there where this monitor is i would love to put it to put it right there um yeah it's it's cheap 
this monitor is cheap it has two HDMI inputs which is something I want because uh, I will need the output the HDMI output from my Quadro and the HDMI output from the 5870 I will need to switch from those two outputs uh, what else well I was listening right now to some uh, copyrighted music so I had to pause it well I actually turned the whole thing off but I was listening to this so I had to pause it I will be getting I might be getting um, a new uh, film pack for my Polaroid if I get some leftover money for from Christmas uh, so maybe expect some Polaroid pictures if you follow me on Instagram. If you don't, uh, I don't know, follow me on Instagram. I don't really post that much. It's mostly just things about my hi-fi uh, setup and random stuff. But yeah. I'm not really that artistic and as you can see the camera on my phone isn't that good so yeah uh, I'm also on the lookout for a Walkman because my Walkman uh, the motor on my Walkman died and yeah it is all taken to pieces and I'm I mean yeah and uh, on the meanwhile I'll listen to music on my phone I can I I mainly listen to music on my phone but yeah anyway I think that's all for for this I have kind of tidied this part of the room so now you can access my bed and that's about it really so, you know, comment, like, subscribe, whatever, and bye.